Woo. All right. So I've been playing a lot of Call of Duty Black Ops 4 for the, fa for the past few days. I done already prestiged. I'm like level 11 or level 12. So I think I developed a pretty good fucking opinion. I knew from the day, the first full day that I played this game, when I played it for a few hours, I knew I was going to fuck with this game. Now, even though that I fuck with this game, I got some gripes about it. First of all, something about Call of Duty Black Ops 4, I don't know what it is, but it has some retarded ass fucking equipment. I fucking hate the fucking equipment in this game. First of all, the, the specialist with the riot with the riot shield is annoying as fuck. Even though that's not equipment, it's just, you know, he has a piece of equipment, the riot shield. That shit is annoying as fuck in my opinion. I've talked to a, a couple other people and they said that he's annoying. He should be removed out of the game overall. Now, I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say remove him out of the game, but rather he's removed, I wouldn't care because I just wouldn't. You know, the only way I really kill him is with fire breaks, heat wave shit. So that's that. One or another one is you got that stupid little drone that flies around or that rolls around and shocks you. And then the enemy could just come up and shoot you. Thank God for I think it's either engineer or attack mask. When they, when they try to do that, you can fucking press X quick and it just rips that shit off. I love it. I love it. I love it. Because of that, I think that perk is a must. But that's just my opinion. That is annoying as fuck. You got those little sticky things that you throw on a wall when you walk by them. You 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 blow up or you you uh, you like uh, get ex um bl get blown up in like the explosion or whatever. That shit is annoying as fuck, bro. Why? That reminds me of IEDs from Ghost. Like why why do you put this type of stuff in the, in this game? You know, like this shit is annoying. Specialists. This this game, in my opinion, would have been so much better if the specialist abilities were non-existent. That's just my opinion because it'd be a certainly it'd be it'll more so take after an old school Call of Duty game. You know, it'd be run gun, kill streaks, play the objective, bam, and you got a shitload of customization. You don't need the specialist. The only thing that I see the specialist as is that ways to give people a free kill. If it's not, I guess, decent or good people, it's shitty people like Treyarch. And I think every developer does this. It, it, it gives it some type of easy way to fucking kill people. You know what I'm saying? Like back in Black Ops 3, you know, I watched I watched YouTube videos on it before, even though I don't like the game. I still watch some support some YouTubers who I fuck with. Uh, Peter Fire, I think that's his name, or is it Fire Break in there too? I don't know. But he he has that flamethrower. As soon as you touch it, you're dead. So you can somebody can be trash and they can still kill you with it because as soon as you touch it, you're dead. Like they always act these these easy ass stupid shit in these games to help people out take it back to the old school days if you're good you're good if you're not you're not get good you know i had to get good towards the mw2 days yes i had new they had new tutors and shit but i never used that shit i used to run around try to get i used to get my ass beat and i have to keep i have to i have to keep playing over and over and over and over and over again in order for me to get good and you know in black Ops 4 there's so much shit where it's like wow people got so many different easy ways to kill people and it's just annoying but overall i think the gameplay is pretty solid i think the maps are pretty good except for like i don't like that militia map and i still don't like that i don't know what map it was i remember i played it i played it in the um in the in the beta the the beta was the only map that it, it was the only map that i didn't that i didn't really like in the beta and ah, I forgot the name of it though, man. Uh, let me see, cause I'm on Black Ops Four right now. So when I look at it, so yes, it's Militia. I don't like that one, and it's Payload. I don't like that one either. All the other maps, like I had to get used to slums, but all the other maps are cool. Like in my opinion, like anybody who's been watching my YouTube videos for a while, you know I don't really fuck with Treyarch, but I actually like this Call of Duty game. And one thing that I really do enjoy about it a lot, because I don't have too much to say about it, except the shit that I already said, is that, you know, my opinion could change as time goes on, you know, because you, you never know. The one thing about this game is the call community. Call community is really pissing me off with this game because of the way that some people play. Some people like to sit. Some people like to be behind head glitches. This game seems like it's going to have a quick scoping problem. And it's just that shit that you have to deal with. But that, that starts to tailor or start to like alter my opinion as time goes on because even though I, i'm still probably gonna like the game or even later down the line if i say i don't like the game at least you know at the beginning i did like it and there was something that ruined it for me to make me not like it but you know it's just some shit like that that just really pisses me off 
but i love the i love the long time to kill because it really rewards like don't you guys already know i prefer you know long time I mean, short time to kill like in ghosts and shit and infinite warfare you know because i like reaction time I'm, I'm always gonna like that so if a call comes with that i'm not gonna be mad but i also like the long time to kill too because it, it really does reward gunplay and, and skill you know if you're shit i done did some dirty shit on people bro i'm not gonna even lie to you like i done shit like i i low-key consider myself a borderline god in this game because sometimes i just be running because i'm a rusher in this game i'd be running around just mowing people down and i, I i'd be doing some dirty shit i'm like it's fucking crazy yo but yeah it's, it's it's a fun game now i'm not gonna say whether you should get it or not get it because I don't like telling people that because everybody has their own opinion. And like I've said a million times, you're going to have to make the decision for yourself whether you want to buy it. I have to do the same thing and I want you to do the same thing as well because I don't want you to get a game. Or I don't want you to not get a game. And then, you know, you blame somebody for telling you to get the game when you actually don't like the game because this game isn't going to be for everybody. You know, that that's my whole thing about it. That's why I don't like going around telling people, oh, yeah, you should get this game or get that. No, I don't. I don't do that. But with that being said, that's pretty much our view out of Black Ops 4. I don't know if I should give it, maybe I can give it like an 8 out of 10, a 7 out of 10, but I really do like the game. You guys are going to see more, I like it more than World War 2. You guys are going to see it more, um, you know, more throughout the year. I'm going to try to play it. I'm going to try to pace myself out now that I prestige, because if I keep playing a shitload um, every single day, I'm probably going to get burnt out of the game, and I'm probably going to hate it, because last night I really found myself getting really, really angry about the Thermal Controller. So I'm going to try to take this game kind of slow. I'm not going to be one of those racers who try to race to the highest prestige. I mean, yeah, I'm still going to grind some. I'm still going to try to get there as soon as possible, but I'm not going to be trying one of the first ones, because that's how you really burn yourself out in the game really quick. So that's going to have that's gonna do it for my, um, you know, my review for Black Ops 4. I really enjoy the game a lot. It's gonna, I think it's going to be a solid year. And I have even I have not even tried zombies and I have not even tried blackout. And I didn't even get to try the blackout beta either because my Xbox wasn't working at the time. Well actually it was, but the solution I didn't find out till after the beta ended. So yeah. Um I think it's a good game. It's solid. I, and this is just for multiplayer. I'm, I'm gonna try the other stuff out eventually. One, I don't know, but I'm gonna have YouTube videos coming out on this definitely, but I'm gonna still try to upload variety as well. I'm not gonna just try to, you know, upload card all on my channel, overflow my channel with Call of Duty. Like, nah, that's not how it's gonna work. But yes, that's gonna do it. So if you guys did enjoy today's YouTube video, please like, comment, and subscribe. You can follow me on twitter.com slash norvin3 and twitch.tv slash norvin3. If you guys wanna see more YouTube videos like this, please leave down in the comment section below and let me know. I give this game a, I give this game a thumbs up. I hope that you guys have a beautiful day and YouTube. Until next time.